Last day at work. <laughs> Feel like crying. <laughs> Today is the last day I unlock the fence to go to work. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> right, work's all done. I don't even know how to feel to be honest. It's been a long time coming, honestly. Um, going to the pub now with the boys, have a few drinks, celebrate whatever's to come and uh, cheers to me boss. Rocks Towing, best company I've ever worked for in my life. It's actually a bit upsetting that I have to leave because it's taken me so long to find a good company and good people that I enjoy working for. So, oh well, onwards and upwards and uh, it's good to know I've got a, a backup plan if I need to come back to <laughs> the Matrix. This is escalating a bit. We've run into, <laughs> run into all the locals. You got me boss man. Boss man, officially unemployed, it's all over. First week off work, feels really strange not having a routine every day. Um, but we've just come up to Cobblers Creek to film a bit of drone footage and go for a bit of a hike. So yeah, normally at our age, you should probably have like seven hundred thousand dollars well nowadays a million dollars in debt kids house cars baby seats all of the above so we decided we'd do it a little bit different um live work our life live our life yeah whilst we're young we worked our asses off for the last well I've, i dropped out of school early just been working since so i've been just working my ass off since i was 16 years old um and yeah, a lot of a lot of lessons learned in the past couple of years, and we just come to realise that the government uh, they're not really in our favour, and they're not doing our generation any favours. So we're going to do the complete opposite of what they advise you to do, and virtually scrap the mortgage, not getting the house, not getting the cars. I've had the cars, I had my fun, and uh, we're just going to get in the van and head off and. Hopefully, well as you guys all know, I've always wanted to be a content creator or a YouTuber if that's what you want to call it. Um, so hopefully turn it into a lifestyle. But if not, we'll just be on the road for probably a year or two, hopefully forever. Um, the plan is I don't want to come home unless I can own something like this. So if we can just sustain living on the road, living a simple life, and I really, I, I'm honestly a true believer that the new rich is just desiring little. You know, it's so hard being our age to have everything and live the Australian dream. So, desire little is the new rich. And we're just going to get out there and bring you guys along with us. And if you didn't notice, it's no longer JR Media, it's Free Roaming. Oz. On Instagram, Free Roaming Oz. On YouTube, Free Roaming. It's a lot better niche that fits into what we're trying to do is get out there and roam free so come along with us because this is only the beginning it's only tuesday day two no work and we've got like forever in front of us hopefully so yeah we'll bring you guys along to try to make money on the road my podcast is going to come with us so i'm going to be talking to cool people other van lifers if i meet other van lifers, i'll say look man let's turn the cameras on and get the mics on and have a chat and then, then they'll tell us how they're sustaining life on the road, why they chose to do it. I just got so much planted in my brain, so I'm just glad that it's all over now. We had amazing work that we just finished up at, great bosses, great companies, but we got goals that we need to achieve, so we're going to achieve them. Yeah, this is where I used to come as a kid. I pretty much grew up on this graffiti wall in this reserve at Cobblers Creek. So whenever we get the minute and we're in it, whenever we're off work, I like to come here and kind of bring back some childhood memories. And uh, I thought it was the best place to come do an intro and fly the drone, but we're not allowed to do it. So we're going to head over to the other side of the creek where I think you're allowed to fly the drone. 
and then we'll go from there and then we'll head back home I'll put a bunch of videos together of what we've been up to in the last couple months with the van and then now that we're off work this is where it all begins so from now it's full-time content and uh, full-time unemployed bums <laughs> We're gonna head home now. I'm gonna put some snippets in of what we've been doing lately on the van, all the little maintenance things. Things aren't going to plan. And that's why I'm going to travel. That's why we're going to travel, to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. So yeah, things haven't been going to plan when it comes to the van and um, just small bits and pieces, but it is what it is. We'll push through it and uh, I'll head home, chuck some snippets in show you the van, show you the packing and uh, yeah we'll go from there. This will probably be one whole video just the intro to free roaming um, and then I reckon when we get into the van and we head off I want to try do daily vlogs just to show everyone the, the true roots of what it, what it takes and it's not all sunshine and rainbows so if you're looking for someone who's going to show you all the cinematic good shit about travel in Australia it's not going to be me because I'm going to show you everything even the tears, the injuries, the wisdom tooth coming out that I might have to get ripped out halfway through. She's getting wisdom teeth ripped out tomorrow, Thursday, three of them. Um, money just flying out the window. No money coming in as of yet. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna go with the flow. Jumping on here to let you all know, I forgot to change the setting on my G7X. So this few last videos and this one here are filmed like I'm using a 1980s Nokia. I don't even know if Nokias were out then, but sorry for that, won't happen again. Put a garage, put a garage on the roof. 390 litre Pro Rack roof box. So that's got everything we need that we're not going to need all the time. Gas compartments there, you've already seen most of the van, we'll do a van tour separately. And then in here, we've got new cushions. It's a bit messy right now, but come up here, we done this yesterday. So this is where all our hand soaps will go. Alicia's uh, aesthetics, <laughs> nice aesthetics with the trees by the window. Open this up, get some oxygen flowing through them. Then these are our brand new cushions, double layered. We got a girl off Marketplace to wrap them in some uh, very nice grey, what was that called again? Playful. Playful grey from Officeworks, all new pillows. And we're just going through the process of storage right now. So that's under the bed storage. We've got all that room because I'm very smart and I put that box on the roof. So the box is for things like that we're not going to need, but we're going to be thankful that we do have. So that's like just the garage pretty much. And then I've got these in all of my cupboards. They fit perfect. Then you can take these in and out and change them. So that'll be like jocks, socks, camera gear, um, deodorant, natural deodorant, always. <laughs> um, so I've got all three of them full. That's my side. Alicia's on this side. As you can see, her books. All my books. And then I don't, what are you doing for, you bought storage packs, hey? So she's got storage um, packs. Packing cubes. Packing cubes. And then this is our grey water container. That's, I can't show you now, but it's actually goes out to about that big. It expands. Big. That's just so if we get pulled over, like we can either put this under the van and collect our grey water or put it under here, remove that, or even put the grey water in that if we really need to. But other than that, I'm gonna have like a valve in there, which is here which you'll all see all this. I'm going to video all the installations. So I'm going to put that in there, under there, and then just turn, you turn it. If you want the water to go outside onto the floor, and then if you want it to come inside into like this or a gray water container, you turn that. So that'll be under there. Um, this is our water filter. If you just don't know, well, I'm really fussy with what water I drink. Like 
it's all reverse osmosis because I refuse to have fluoride. So this is the best portable camping water filter we could get that was going to filter out 90% of crap. So don't know if it does fluoride. Don't really care. I can't save the world. I've tried to for so long now. Um, other than that, we've got Sirocco fans installed. One there, one there. We put these... We put those cabinets up from my where are they from Kmart so one thing we might get from Bunnings is um oh you put this up yeah it's crooked <laughs> so Alicia put that up yesterday I'll have to double check that it's gonna fall down <laughs> um yeah we painted this yesterday white this was like a wood color like this type of wood color so we painted that yesterday so that looks like it's built into the wall which is beautiful roof vent i've gone through and sealed all the roof vent um we painted the van obviously you have seen that i believe or maybe you haven't i might throw that all in this one video we, we went through and painted the whole van all white this rim which is like the best thing we ever done because it just breaks it up and then i sealed the edges with this um, sticky foam which makes it look real tidy and then we got all of this installed this pretty much tells us everything. Power going in, power going out. And then what we're doing right now, you just know the fridge and freezers in here. We'll, shoot, we'll do a whole separate van tour, like once we leave. Um, what we're doing now is we're just trying to figure out what we're taking, how much storage we're gonna have, and then what we've got to play with. So we, right now we've got like, those two drawers are empty, I think these are all empty. Um, cutlery. And then another massive thing we're trying to do is figure out how to keep all that. Most of the drawers have the locks to stop them from coming open when you're traveling. Just your push button locks. But these ones, they don't. And I've spent so much time and money on different types of magnets and stuff to try to keep them closed. And none of them have actually fitted. Look, look, I've got another packet here. God knows, more magnets here. Just, oh, I'm a magnet man. Alicia calls me the magnet man. But I reckon, because Alicia doesn't want to put those child locks on because it looks bodgy, but I think <laughs> we might have to do that. Because as you can see, there's nowhere to put the magnets. Like, the cabinetry is not hectic. Like, even in there, there's nothing inside for the magnet to grab onto. So we might just have to slap the child locks on these ones, which makes sense because that'll hold this door closed, these doors closed. It's just going to look a bit weird, but that's the van life things. Mirror, put a mirror on for Alicia. Other than that, you'll see everything. We're going to pack the van with things that we think we're going to need. And then if we don't need it, we're probably going to have a van garage sale halfway through. Bye. Yatsie. Okay, well, it's a good day to be a duck. So we thought today's the day we're going to start painting. We've chosen a gloss white. So we'll have a shiny finish and easy to clean fingerprints and dirt and dust. Another one by the front door. And another one in here. By the shitter. We have a diff in the car. <laughs> so I bought the diff from a wrecker and the wrecker said he's got a mechanic who will fit it, right? So this went from the wrecker to the mechanic in a courier van or whatever, right? Then I went to drop the van there on Wednesday and he goes, oh, brother, too big too big I cannot do the job and I was like fuck now my diff stuck at this fucking mechanic so we've just taken the Terry to the workshop and lucky they had a free engine crane 
because boom, look at that. Straight in. So now I'm taking it to one of my mates' workshop. Shout out Ben Mingham at BNA Mechanical or Mobile Mechanical. And a shout out to the Fort Terry. Who said these things could not carry dual wheel diffs around? Yeah, don't worry about that. So we engine engine craned it in. And on the other end, it's all happening. So we, we might put a hole through the Terry. Yup, back. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, it's Tuesday and I'm dropping the van off to get its new diff. Uh, nothing's wrong with the diff. Like I've said, I'm just getting the ratios downgraded so we can sit at a better RPM on the highway. Save a bit of fuel, save a bit of stress on the motor. So we went to Clark Rubber today and we got another pad of offcuts from the first big bunch. 60 bucks a piece for the best foam you can get. So what we're doing is we're putting that foam on top of the original foam, because as you all know, I've got a really bad back and it was hurting my back. So now we're going double the thickness and we're just hoping that our covers fit over the top. Babe, what are you making us buy? She reckons we've got to change the cushion covers. So we've just went and seen a lady off Marketplace and we bought new cushions, which you'll see in a video, double layer. And then this is going to be our new fabric, playful gray. All right, the moment of truth. The last piece to the puzzle. Oh, it's not even on. Yeah, it's on. What does it look like? Since the day we got this van, it's needed its roller door adjusted. So I've just spent an hour getting it perfect. Body lines perfect. I've put it up a little bit because there is plasterboard inside and insulation, so it will sag a little bit more. But there used to be, there used to be like a big gap here where the wind used to catch, like it used to be about there. So now I've got it right in, snug. Perfect. I don't think you can get much better. All right guys, so I was gonna get bikes, and then I needed a ladder and a bike rack to hang them off the rear door, that was gonna cost thousands of dollars. So I've come up with the idea, if we bought two off-road scooters, that can get us to the shops quicker than walking, get us to fishing spots, and they can just go in the van. Why did you turn the camera she to Alicia to the dishes? <laughs> Took it for our first ride and we're like, what the fuck? As soon as you put weight on it, they stopped rolling. And then I realized, it's because they actually have a valve and you pump them up. There's a valve in there. I wonder how you, how you get replacement valves. All right, it's on Pro Rack EXP8, 390 litre rooftop cargo box, and our new ladder. So it's all like with the lock. Hello. 
What would you like from the garage? <laughs> I'm just in here changing the battery because the battery shit the bed apparently. Just put a new earth in. Not one to really do this, but shout out to Cozy Caravans. You're one of the dodgiest blokes I know. Spent almost $7,000 with this guy. And some of the work he done was appalling. So I just made a new earth. What we got here? No good, no good. So this, <laughs> this valve's broken. So we've just jacked it up. <sighs> it's all happening. Two weeks ago, we just finished work yesterday. Today's our first proper day off. So I just gone and got the valve repaired. Valve extensions on. This one was a bit weird actually. I had to do it really tight for it to stop hissing. So hopefully that holds up. And then with these ones, I've just gone a right angle so we can pump the tires up easily. Otherwise they were facing like inside of the rim and it was just a pain in the ass.